I didn't know what to talk about tonight. There's so many, so many things. So I thought I should tell you a little bit maybe about what inspires me. And I think my work is predominantly a reflection of my soul. So for some people it's a reflection of their surroundings. But I think mine's quite heartfelt. And Oberon's so important to me because of the landscape. This image is in Iceland the year before we went to the UK. And I spent a fair bit of time drowning drawings in the Arctic Ocean. So that piece of paper there then becomes the um, pages behind this work, which is called If Only. Again, Reflection of the Soul, The Navigator. This is at Scenic World Sculpture Prize 2012, I think. The Navigator is blindfold. He's about eight foot tall and he's being led trustingly by a flock of birds, is the idea. So it's about trust and that communication with the landscape. The horse is a reappearing theme. Here's the horseman. So the horseman and the fawn. The horseman carries a mask, the idea being that when you're out of this crazy world that we live in, that you can step into the fantasy world of the horse and put on Don the Horse mask. So the horse is a very strong theme in my work. Again, this is the horse, horseman figure. This is called the bone collector. So I have a little bit of a bone fetish, as well as a book fetish curse. <laughs> and this is some of the bones I collected in Iceland. The crab graveyard that I found, which those are crab body skulls, I call them, on a windowsill was one of my favourite things. This is about rejection. So being an artist involves a lot of rejection. So you put a lot of things forward and you get a lot of things knocked back. This is a work that I envisaged about the intimidating nature of the world around us for a Western Sydney Sculpture Prize, which I bear the badge of honour of a rejection letter. <laughs> this is a work I made at art school. Again, it's about the, it, the horses and metaphor, so dragging what is seemingly light, whimsical objects through the sky. It's, there's a weight and an oppressive nature about, you know, it's about human struggle, I suppose. <coughs> And it's also about ceramics. So this is Raku fired ceramics. So one of the first person people I met in Oberon involved in the arts is Victoria from Potter's Needs. I don't think she's here. And I did a Raku workshop with her and Margaret Weinholz. I think that's how I pronounce the setting. And it's fabulous. There's fire and all sorts of things. And she's having a Raku workshop later in the year. So community, I think, is a big part of what makes being an artist so much fun, what makes it successful. Again, the horse, a reappearing theme in my, my creative world, and why the horse? Because I think I'm part horse, maybe. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's quite possibly true. It has a power and a strength and an elegance. This, um, this line is a relatively large line-drawn steel work, and it's become my signature style of working at the minute. The horse also for me is a lot about loss and tragedy. So I did have a pre past history as a professional horse rider. And everybody wants me to turn this to stand on its feet, but it's much more powerful work as it is. It actually goes on a slightly different orientation. It's called Memories of a Race Horse. That work on the left, on your left, yes, is called We Speak, about the communication between horse and human. And there's, I'm doing a work commissioned for the National Museum, which is along those lines at the minute. That was done at the Hill End Artist Residency. So Bathurst Regional Art Gallery, thank you very much for sending me up to Hill End. Community. So this is a big work that's at the minute this big. And it's going to Sculpture by the Sea, and it's going to be rather large. The base I have in my studio weighs 160 kilos. It's a double-headed rocking horse. Which way forward? About push, pull, you know, do we gallop into life or do we go with control? I wouldn't be here without the people around me. Nika Reagan isn't here. She's my studio assistant as of February. This is the work we've just built for the National Museum. And Heather Salmon, who's over there in the corner, is my studio apprentice. I have a lot of support in Oberon and I'm really grateful for it. Without Lyndall and Graham here, I would never have met Joanna, who's sitting this after me, which is where we conducted these wonderful workshops at Joanna's place, where I now live. Mm -hmm. So Welding Women of the West, it's all about community. 
teaching, engaging people in the arts, having a bit of fun, you know, exploring the fact that art making isn't so foreign, it's actually quite a liberating experience. Life drawing, I think, is critical to the art making process, drawing in general. And I, these are old, and I'm missing my life drawing as of recent days, so I thought maybe we could start doing some life drawing in town. Life drawing. So then the other thing I want to do is bronze casting. I got a grant to do bronze casting last year. The, I won the um, same three sculpture grant. And I made this little figure on the left. Those are the drawings that I made before I made the figure. And as a result of that, I went to the UK with Arts Out West and Tracy and Christine. And I ended up, we ran workshops in Worksworth. And then I ended up working at this studio in Suffolk for um, for the roof over my head and I worked like an abbey I tell you it was pretty full on work amazing bronze caster so my new dream is to build a foundry this is the furnace on the right that I'm going to build we call it Ambleside Foundry and um, I was the resident grog basher which is actually a physical job bashing sort of um, bashing plaster it's not downing that great big bottle of whiskey <laughs> and I intend to, that place has a real feeling of community so that was a little pub they built so I think that one of the best things about being an artist is being surrounded by creative people so a reflection of your soul back to a lot of writing that I like to do in my practice but being surrounded by creative people Joanna's just come, come home and to have her there in the studio beside me is just fabulous so that's it for me. Thanks, Tracy.